Today we're gonna check out how to make this simple and easy grungy text effect here in Illustrator. I gotta go with this artboard size. Let's select the type tool, type in something, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. And I'm gonna go with the gigantic typo. A right click, create outlines, and I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and I'm gonna go select these bottom lines and I'm gonna bring it down. So I'm gonna make these slab serifs really thick. And I'm also gonna customize it here and just bring them together a little bit more. And I'm also gonna increase the distance in between the letters quite a bit. You know, do some customizations to make it a little bit more thicker, some of the areas. And I'm also gonna add more distance in between the letters so we can apply a pretty nice and healthy grunge effect. I'm also gonna bring these a little bit more wider. Also gonna do the same thing with the top. After you're done, I'm gonna select everything, right click, group, and now we're gonna go to the effects. Let's go to pixelate and select meso tint. And here we got a couple of options. So I'm gonna go with the coarse dots, and this is going to create these grungy effects. You also can change it up with grainy dots, which is more dense or medium dots and so on and so forth. But it also has these horizontal lines, which is going to add a total different effect to it but I just gonna go with the coarse dots, click OK. And check this out, if you press and hold Shift plus Alt and you scale it down or scale it up, it's going to make these grungy grainy effects smaller or bigger. And I'm gonna select it, go to Object, Expand Appearance, and now we're gonna go here, Image Trace, click on it and select Default. From here, we can click on the Open the Image Trace panel, and here you can see all the settings. Now I'm gonna set up the threshold. If you decrease it, it's gonna make the letters thinner. If you increase it, it's going to make it thicker. But I'm gonna go down a little bit lower. Here we got the paths. Right now it's on 50%, and as you can see, the text is a little bit more unclear. For example, the letter E, the letter R. But if you increase the paths, it starts to be more and more clear. Now the letter E is still destroyed quite a bit, but you can customize it afterwards. If you remove the paths, it's gonna make it more and more curvy. So I'm gonna go back to normal. Here we got the corners. You also can decrease and make it rounded. And then the noise, if you decrease the noise, it's gonna add more garange in there. Probably gonna go with this one. I'm gonna decrease the corners to zero. You also got to simplify if you want. And this also gonna give you like a different melty effect, but I'm gonna go all the way up, something like 98. And then also make sure to click on check, ignore color, and now but least click on expand. And this is how I make grungy text effect quick and easy here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.